Today we're in London and we're gonna see if we can travel the entirety of the UK with nothing but the kindness of the public and a little bit of finesse. The rules are simple. We're gonna start our journey here in the capital of England, London, at 10 a.m. and our finish line will be the capital of Scotland, Edinburgh, at the Balmoral clock with the deadline being midnight on the dot. But the catch is I need to use five different modes of transport and of course, no money can be spent. But don't worry, whatever services I get for free, they'll be multiplying their cost by 10 and giving it all to charity. With that being said, and that is the clock finishing chiming for 10, which means the time has begun. We've got until midnight. Let's go. So we need to find five different modes of transport. We may as well get one out of the way for... Wait, hang on. Now we're going to Scotland today and I hear the sound of bagpipes in the distance. So in fact, let's move backwards. Excuse me, my friend. We're going to Scotland today. Yeah. We're trying to get there before mid midnight. Oh, yeah, definitely. Get, you can get a plane or a train. Uh, yeah? Yeah. We're trying to do it for free. Whereabouts are for free? Yeah. yeah. It's going to be a tough journey, so yeah. could you play your bagpipes to wish us some luck? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. What a great guy. Thank you, man. We need a bike. And best way to do this is by taking someone else's. Excuse me, friends. Sorry. Could I borrow I one of your bikes? You no, 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 no. no? Uh, fair enough. Excuse me, sir. What are the odds that I could borrow that bike? I'll only use it for five minutes. Yeah? What's your name, sir? Max. Max, thank you so much for stopping. How do I end the journey? You cannot because you need to use my phone to end the journey. Oh, okay, so you can end the journey and I'll just keep it safe. You can park it somewhere here. I will go and take it. Yeah? Oh, it's a red light. It's a red light. Thank you. Max is now on foot. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. He's now on foot. George is going to catch up with me. If you need to catch a taxi, George, just catch it, yeah? All right, we've got to start driving. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yeah, it's a yellow light. Oh, my gosh, I haven't driven a bike in years. I'm going to die. Oh, my gosh, I haven't driven a bike in years. I'm terrified. Max, I'm driving. Thank you so much. So I've got five minutes, yeah? Love and guidance, brother. <laughs> No, oh, you found me! Oh my gosh! The crazy thing is, Max can stop this journey at any time and it may actually hurt me. Fortunately, Max didn't sabotage this operation and with the help of some locals, I'd found my way to my destination. Victoria Coach Station! This is it! Coaches! Where do I stop? Oh dear, yeah. Oh, I'm screwed. Yeah, sorry mate. All right, wait, I'm, I'm just gonna move here. Yeah, thank you, mate. That worked out spectacular. I can't believe it, to be honest. If you see someone try to take this bike, can you make sure that their name is Max? Bang them in the jaw, yeah, if their name's not Max. Thank you. Thank you, man. That's the first one done. And now we're at a coach station. This is a perfect way out of London. But this is where we're going to have to do a lot of finesse. This was looking difficult, but we had to try. We scouted a coach heading up north to Birmingham and moved with confidence. Hello, my friend. Um, we're here with the uh, social media. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we're just going to be filming some stuff just um, until the first stop and then we'll get another. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Perfect. Thank you, All thank right. you. Thank you so no much. Worries. Let's go, George. I couldn't believe it. Just like that, we'd been welcomed onto the coach, but before the journey could begin, I had to really sell my new role. The coach is going to be shown on the near side. I've, I've written it down and I'll, I'll give it to the team. Thank you. Here we go. Put it in there. Put it in gently. Just pretend like I'm... Sneak it in. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I can't believe it. Let's get a round of applause for National Express. Come on, guys. Round of applause. With the second mode of transportation crossed off our list, we were heading up north with a current total of £14.97 saved. So £149.70p for charity. Of course, we had to get some incredible social media content along the way to maintain our disguise, but things couldn't be going better for us. A smooth journey later and we'd arrived at our destination. Honestly, it's been an incredible journey for all of us at National Express and I'm just here to say thank you to all of you. If you have any queries or anything like that, you can send them over to nationalexpress at getsent.com. Could we get a massive round of applause for that parking? Yeah, well done guys, well done. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this journey and um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get off. They really liked me, just like you guys should like the video right now. Because we're trying to cross the whole country. So if you can't like and subscribe, then your breath really does smell. Subscribe because we're trying to hit 100 million subscribers by the end of the year. All right, back to the video. So we are now in Birmingham, but right now I am very hungry. I don't know about you, George. And now we're gonna have to find some free food. Best thing I'm doing is relying on the UK drunk culture. What are you saying, guys? We all good? 
Right now, I'm travelling across the UK. I'm doing a documentary travelling across the UK, mate. The whole point of it is I can't spend any money. You may have seen me on the What's BBC. Okay? Shush. Sorry? Shush, sure. yeah. Sure. I'm only with the weird guy with the glasses. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. He's quite good looking. Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll give you his number if you want his number. In exchange for? In exchange for a glass of water and, and some nuts. And I'll give you his number. Which nuts do you want? Yeah, do you want some nuts? <laughs> what have we walked into? What the hell have we walked into? The stakes were high, but luckily there was a kind stranger who ensured I didn't have to sell George's body. Can I get a glass of coke? Yeah, yes, please, yeah. Thank you. Have you got a big cup? Oh, that's a crazy question. I've got a big coat. A big coat? Yeah, yeah, I've got a, I've got a big coat in my hand, yeah. How old are you? I'm 17. What? Yeah. 17? Yeah. You are? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just asked about a 17-year-old about how big is uh, in between no, the trousers. No, 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 <laughs> I was having a lot of fun, but I didn't have time to waste, so I explained my issues to this nice lady, hoping she could help me. Have you got any advice on how I can get there lean? Oh, I can. Sell your ass. Okay, that's not on the menu. That's not on the menu. Thumb it. Thumb it? Yeah. So what, what does thumb it mean? It means... Hitchhike it. If you go straight down there, you'll get to her straight. You'll find loads of friendly people down there. And with that advice in mind and the deadline looming, it was time for me to leave the tavern behind. So I said farewell to my new friends and George's new lover and moved on to the next chapter of this challenge. I think this was the area which she was talking about. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes, 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 perfect. Oh, no. Damn, they were turning in. Kanye. Kanye. Can you help me? Brother, what direction are you going? London. London. Damn, that's the wrong way. Can you take us to the roundabout? Yeah? Oh, okay, great. Get in, George. Oh, I don't think you... Is he okay? Yeah, yeah, he'll be fine. We don't need him. What's your name, my friend? Nice to meet you, man. Hey! We made it to a truck! Thanks to Alan, we managed to cross a third mode of transport off our list. And if you're wondering if a truck is different from a car, let's find out from the expert himself. Did you say a truck is a different vehicle to a car? Yes, it's a I'm not going there, mate. I'm going That's what people say about me. <laughs> I quickly realised that this man would laugh at anything I said, so I tested how far I could take it. We're going around about, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I guess you could say we're going around. <laughs> Your friend that is going to be coming following you, or are you going back to him? Or? Yeah, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he'll find me. But to be honest, I don't like his vibe anyway. So. <laughs> he cramps my style. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hop out here. Okay. Thank you, Alan. All right. What about your name? Shush. Shush. Okay. Shush out of here. <laughs> oh, great. Take care. Okay, you are the best energy I think I've ever seen in my life. See you around. See you around. More like see you clown. <laughs> What a journey that was, but as I was now in a different part of Birmingham, George had to come and find me. George! Oh, how great to see you. Sorry for leaving you, my friend. We're now three vehicles in, and we're at the point now where we're going to try and hitchhike. So, back to the city centre we go. Yes, we were heading back to where we just were in an attempt to hitchhike again, but it's at this point where our challenge here, an impenetrable wall. We spent hours approaching cars looking for someone to take us up north, but we were having no luck. This is not going to work. It's not going to work. I was just wasting my time here. Not a single person we approached was willing to take us and we were getting nowhere. I'm really losing hope. I'm really, really losing hope. We can't even get out of Birmingham. At this point, I really felt like giving up because no one wanted to help us. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm on the, my last limb. After endless failed attempts and too much time wasted, we knew it was time for a change of plan. Hello, hello, hello. What is there any way I can get a paper and pen? It was time to engage the most elaborate plan of my career. Permanently inked on this paper is the finest filming permit the streets have ever seen. And I knew just where to use it. It was time to cross a train off the list. Excuse me, guys. We're currently filming for um, the BBC. We've been told that we're working with... Yeah, have you got an idea? Uh, identification. But that's a collection of reference, isn't it? No, it's not, it's not a ticket because we, we have to go through many different train lines. So it's been a challenge to get to reach Edinburgh before midnight. But oh, okay, 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 yeah. I see. So, so you Current went to, to Edinburgh? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. How the hell did that work? How did that work? But well, we need to get down. Let's go, George. Quick, quick, quick. Go, let's go. Perfect. Let's get on. Let's go. Okay. This work as a ticket to take us to Edinburgh. Life was good, we'd somehow made it on the train, we were well on our way to Edinburgh, but it wasn't long before we encountered our first problem, reserved seats. It was time for another master plan. Oh, oh this is you, oh fair enough. Well that didn't go to plan, we were in search of a seat again and that's when we met this nice lady who was very interested in our documentary. It's a Michael Bay produced documentary. Yeah, because you know Michael Bay loves his explosions and stuff like that, so we just had like some crazy stunt moments as well. And we're actually doing a stunt on this train as well. Um, yeah, so uh, yeah, yeah, so we've, we've coordinated with some of the train drivers and stuff. I'm going to go on top of the train and, and hold on. Yeah, no, seriously, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to try and get into a, like a zen thing. Don't laugh or anything, but I get yeah. It was very special, but it was time for us to relocate again. We were passing more and more station, but things were about to take a turn. I just looked down the carriage and the ticket man is coming. We're screwed. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Something about jumping off a train or something, I heard. We're jumping on top of the train. Uh, no? No. Mm. Well, somebody's overheard it next door, so. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a documentary for the BBC. Uh, we're travelling across the country for free. So what's that? Uh, it's a reference number and everything from Ben McDermott. Now, ticket or you're off. So we were being kicked off the train at the next stop, which was heartbreaking, but only half as heartbreaking as the betrayal we just faced. The woman sleeps the nest. She was so nice. She was so nice. It must have been the Zen. Use the sound. Yeah. We arrived at Edinburgh at 12 o'clock. Oh, yeah. 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 We arrived at the next stop and we made our way off the train. At this point, it's safe to say things could have gone better for us. We're in Wigan. So we're actually in deep trouble of missing the deadline. We've got about 30 minutes to find someone to drive us all the way to Edinburgh. Time was incredibly tight. We were genuinely looking for a miracle. We started asking around, but it was clear that things weren't looking good. Oh, we're, I, we're not going to make it, man. After a few failed attempts, our desperation brought us back to the inevitable, the trains. Thanks to there being no barriers in Wigan, we made it onto another train, bringing our pot for charity up to £93.87. But there was a problem. This train wasn't taking us to Edinburgh, it was taking us to Glasgow. Our plan was to arrive in Glasgow and pray we could find someone who could drive us to the Balmoral Hotel in Edinburgh, but after a few hours of travelling, we realised that wouldn't be possible. Literally the only chance we have to complete this challenge and make it to Edinburgh on time is by getting off at the next stop and hope that we can find someone on this train to drive us there. That is literally the only hope which we've got. We're going to reach our next stop in 15 minutes, which means we have 20 minutes to find someone to get us there and we can make it on time. That's it. That's all we've got. Oh, this is so tight, man. I wanted it to be a little bit more comfy, but it's down to the wire. It was difficult to be optimistic. Finding someone to drive us had proved impossible all day and now we were hoping to find someone in the small town of Motherwell willing to drive us 50 minutes away. In the dead of night, we have no hope. But that wasn't going to stop me from trying. We need, to, we need to stop everyone on the train. Every single person who comes out of this train station needs to get asked. Excuse me, my friend. Do you happen to be going to Edinburgh? Excuse me. Do you happen to be going to Edinburgh? Do you need any help with the bags? Oh, you're great. Thank you. Do you happen to be going to Edinburgh? Oh, no. No. Oh, my God. I'm not going to Edinburgh. I'm sorry. Edinburgh? Yeah. Are we to Edinburgh? Yeah. No, we're here. Okay, I think that was everyone on the train. So. Asking everyone from the train had failed. Nobody was going to Edinburgh and I was sincerely running out of ideas. What's the best thing to do? Uh, we've got 10 minutes, we've got 10 minutes, we've got 10 minutes. I thought this challenge was finished. I was stranded in Motherwell and then suddenly a glimmer of hope. Is there a couple more people? Excuse me guys, by any chance are any of you going to Edinburgh? So we're doing a documentary where we're trying to travel from 
London all the way to Edinburgh. All day I had been encouraging people to help me, but in this moment, I didn't even have to. This kind Scottish family weren't going to let me fail without a fight. Oh, okay. You know, You sure? Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, thank you so much. Thank you. What are your names? Hey, I'm Emily. Emily. I was in disbelief. An actual miracle had occurred in Motherwell, but we couldn't celebrate just yet. 54 minutes. 54 minutes? And what time is it right now? It's 7. Uh, our current time is midnight. I swear, Aaron, if you come clutch up for us now, that would be incredible. Aaron was confident and he had good reason to be. As we got closer, our arrival time decreased and our success was looking likely. 35 minutes left and it'll take us there at 11.58. So many points. We were this close to giving up in this video and now we've almost made it there on time. And no money has been spent, nothing. It was a smooth journey all the way to Edinburgh. No traffic, no roads closed, no breakdowns. I could practically taste victory. It was 11.55 and there were only a couple more turns to go. Until we took a wrong one. I don't know where that is here. Where is it? Oh yeah, end and then left. We were struggling to find this clock. Our lead in Aaron's optimism had diminished. No, 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 no. Listen, Aaron, you, you're the only reason which we're even in with a chance. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I didn't want Aaron to feel bad, so I was putting on a brave face, but I was genuinely terrified at the thought of all of this being for nothing. But then... Oh my gosh, it's there, it's there. Okay, oh my gosh, thank you so much. We'll be back, we'll be back. Thank you, Aaron, thank you so much. Listen, 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 listen. It's 11.59, it's 11.59. <laughs> uh, wait. What? Why does it look like it's past midnight? It's not. I'm telling you right now, it's 11.59. Why is it saying past midnight? What the? What's wrong with this clock? The clock is wrong. <laughs> listen, we've got here midnight. The clock is up there. It didn't look like it was going to be possible, but we'd managed to complete this challenge and I couldn't be happier. But there was just one thing that was playing on my mind. Excuse me, do you know why the clock is wrong? Uh, hadn't clocked it. Hadn't clocked it, I see what you did there. But guys, the Balmoral clock is actually renowned for showing the wrong time. As you can see, it's always a few minutes ahead. So there's your evidence, we got there on time. We've won it! We have done it, we've done it, we've traveled from London. We've traveled from London all the way to Edinburgh. But I know I couldn't have done it without the help of some great people along the way. Thanks to their kindness, we've completed this challenge and finished with a total of £93.87. So we're gonna pay for that number one and also we'll multiply that by 10 and that gets us £938.70. I'm gonna be rounding that up to donate £1,000 to the Great Cause Shelter, a charity helping millions of people every year who are struggling with bad housing or homelessness. So a huge shout out to everyone who helped me travel the country and specifically everyone who let me use their vehicles. Max. Alan and of course bring it in brother oh you really took us there the final leg of the journey thank you so much no Lewis Hamilton would be inspired with that thank you Emily That's all right. well done, your family are legends thank you so much thank you so much guys